Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Nice to see you, nice to be back here shaving again. Um, today's shave is a bit of a mixture of some products I've used before, some I haven't used before, one I definitely haven't used before, um, which I will show you in a minute. So uh, let's show you what we're using. Uh, the soap for today is Mike's Natural Soaps Barbershop. Um, these come in these tins, like this, I've got the puck blooming here. Um, they're fantastic soaps. I've never used this before. I think I've used a sample of it, but I bought this when I was in the States about 18 months ago and I've just never used it. I'd totally forgotten I had it. Um, so here it is here. Uh, I'll show you the ingredients on the bottom of the tin once I use up the bloom water. Um, handmade in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Um, yeah, wonderful soaps, all natural ingredients. Uh, and I was just looking on his website just before I started and um, these tins, I think he's replaced them now with plastic tubs. Um, and these labels aren't waterproof so I'm kind of trying to keep this out of the water. But I don't know if the, if the labels are going to be waterproof now but um, I've never seen any of the new tubs. It, well, it just said poly polypropylene jars image coming soon. Uh, there wasn't a photograph of it on the website but uh, anyone that's used Mike's soaps, uh, they're, no, they're fantastic performers. Um, really, really nice. The razor for today, the Edwin Jagger DE89 and this is the one with the 3D laser diamond handle. Yeah, just a nice middle of the road, nice razor to shave with. Uh, I love this razor, it's really really good, always gives me a good shave. And inside that it's a three piece, you screw the handle apart like that. I have a brand new Zorik Super Platinum Blade. Brand new one of those. Goes together like that and you screw the handle back on. Yeah, the, the grip on this razor is fantastic, uh, if you can see the beautiful design and well made. Yeah, very nice. Uh, I'll show you the packaging for the Zorik blades. There is the wrapper and there is the box. I think it was uh, Alex de Leon sent me these, so thank you Alex. Uh, and I've got another blade here that I'm going to show you guys sometime in the shave. Uh, I don't know anything about it and I'm sure there's going to be some knowledgeable people out there that will definitely know what the blade is. But um, I got sent it, but I'll tell you all about that later on. Uh, the brush for today is a new brush uh, that I was sent. Um, this is a badger brush and this is, here it is here. As you can see it's been soaking and this is Yaki Brush. Professional. Um, this is High Mountain White Badger, which is the softest kind of tips you can get, and it is very, very soft. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful brush. I'll show you a close up of it just now and I'll just continue talking. Um, but I think this is going, I think the Badger Knots from Yaki, well, the High Mountain White, I think they're going to be available in March. I'm not exactly sure of the price. Um, but judging by the other brushes, I think they will be quite affordable. Um, Yaki brushes are kind of... I really like them. I think they're great, great value. Um, they perform wonderfully well. The knots are fantastic. Some people have an issue saying that well, they're going to kill the artisan brush makers, but um, I don't think so. Um, I'll still buy artisan brushes uh, as well as Yaki brushes. They're just giving people another choice in the line of brushes. If you don't want to, if you don't want to buy them, don't buy them. That, that's what choice is all about. Uh, but I think it's a, I think they make some wonderful brushes. They're putting out some fantastic synthetic knots uh, and handles. So um, yeah, I'll put the link to the website and you can go and check them out. But uh, this one is a High Mountain White Badger. If you're in the, the the market for badger brushes, if that's your preference, some people like badger natural hair, badger or boar. Some people prefer synthetic. Synthetics coming out just now are fantastic. Uh, they're easy to look after, easy to maintain. Some people prefer the traditional 
badger or boar hair brush, horse hair even. Some people prefer a mix. <laughs> I like them all. I like all my uh, brushes. So I'm going to try this today. This has been soaking just for about 10 minutes. But um, you, right, I'll, I'll just let it drip and then you can see how much water it holds. But it's even, even wet. These tips are wonderfully soft. Beautiful. It had a little bit of a stink to it when I got it, uh, but I've been lathering it up with different soaps and uh, I put some aftershave in the knot. Just give it a little, you know, just rub some aftershave on my hands and someone said, I've never seen anyone do that before. Why not? It's hair. <laughs> Is that wrong? I don't know. But um, they've not fallen out, so <laughs> I did have a, when I was test lathering it and stuff just to kind of get the stink away, it was a smell a bit funky. Um, there was a few hairs came out, but that's just, um, that happens when you get a new knot. Okay, enough chat, chat, chat. Uh, that's the brush, the blade, the soap. Yeah, everything, razor. Okay, let's uh, apply the bloom water to my face. I have the puck here. Just use this as a, a pre-shave. And if there's anyone new to this way of shaving, hello, well done, you're shaving the right way. Uh, you'll probably hear people speak about bloom water and stuff like that. What you do is, you get some hot water, put it onto the top of the soap, uh, and this will uh, help soften the top layer of soap if you making it easier to lather. And you can use that bloom water, it's called. It has the obviously the scent of the soap. You can use it as a, a kind of pre-shave just to start the lathering process. For anyone that's new. How's everyone doing? I hope you're all well. And I hope you're having some excellent shaves. Okay, let's uh squeeze the water out of this. Here's the soap here. Oh, let me show you the ingredients in the mix soaps. There you go. Yeah, I don't think these labels are waterproof, so... Uh, I didn't want to get it too wet. I'm just going to load this. This is a barbershop scent. Uh, I can't remember the ingredients, the, uh, the the notes. I did write them down, but I will I will get them for you when I uh, in between passes. I'll, I'll when I rinse off, I'll I'll uh, I'll go and get the bit of paper it was on. But look at this soap. Really, really nice. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, I should have turned my phone off. How unprofessional of me! <laughs> it was, uh, I can't tell you what it was. All top secret. Hush hush. <laughs> okay, I think I've got a good load in there. And look at all this stuff here. So I'll just take that from the tin. Like that. Yeah, Mike's uh, soaps are a, a one-man operation, but they're absolutely out of this world. Really, really good. Um, pasty that is in that brush and as I was saying before these these tips on this or the, the bristles on this brush are very very soft I'm just uh, adding some water there
This is a 24 millimeter knot. Look at that. A little bit more water. Lie leather flying everywhere. I like to really work the uh, soap and lather into the bristles. That's the way I like to do it. Some people just, uh, <laughs> if they've got a lather, they just put it on and that's it. But I like to really, because it all feels nice, especially with this brush, it's super soft. Just adding a little bit more water. Very thirsty soap, which is good. It uh, means it can take a lot of water. Look at this lather, look at that brush. Absolutely outstanding. Look at that. <laughs> I would actually say this uh, knot in this is softer than my uh, Simpsons Chubby 2. <laughs> I've got a, a lather parrot. Pieces are right. <laughs> that looks amazing. Very nice. I've got more lather on my shirt than I have on my face. <laughs> That's okay. You know you've had a good shave if it's uh, messy. Right? No? Okay. Okay, let's get some uh, heat into this piece of steel in this razor. And uh, let's go to town. That soap is, um beautifully uh, slick and the cushion on it is fantastic as well is that a brush? I hear from the brush is that a brush? I look like I've got a couple of little pimples here. But, um, I noticed it just before I started. And I thought oh, if I catch them um, during the shave, they'll probably bleed. I still might catch them, you never know. <laughs> this razor is great with the Zoric blade. Smooth. And I noticed that I've passed four thousand subscribers. How did that happen? <laughs> Pardon me. Did you hear that there? <laughs>
and I did say that I would be doing a, a giveaway when I reached 4,000, which I will. Uh, details of which will be coming up, I don't know, in the next video or two. Okay, let me rinse off, I will come straight back. It feels wonderful, the, the slickness on that soap. Out of this world. Okay, I'll see you soon. Okay, yeah, the residual slickness is, uh, it's incredible. Really, really good. Okay, back to this uh, wonderful brush. The Yaki High Mountain White. I don't know what these uh, little numbers, if that corresponds to, if you want to order a brush. Uh, the number 24 is the High Mountain White. I don't know. It may well be. I'm not sure if they all have numbers, they probably do. Look at this soap. Yeah, I'm not usually a fan of uh, badger brushes. As as much as synthetics, but this one is, I'm not, I'm not kidding, it's absolutely amazing. It feels super soft, really nice on the face. And as I say, I don't think these are coming out until March. Well, that's probably when they'll be ready for um, sale. Jagger, across the green. And there is a there is the tiniest bit of overhang on this razor which you can just see there. Just be careful when you're shaving around your nose here. And uh, just under here, under your ear. It's a nice scent on this soap. Right, remind me after this pass to show you the blade and to go and get the note that I wrote what the, the scent profile of this barbershop is. Will you remind me? Thanks. Shout out at, the, uh, at your phone or your computer or your iPad or tablet, whatever you're watching this on. Okay, second pass done. Oh, oh, oh. Amazing. Okay, I'll just rinse this off. I'll go and get the notes 
of the scent profile for the barbershop and I will show you guys the blade when I come back. Okay, so I'll see you in a moment or two. Okay, rinsed off. Here are the notes of the uh, Mike's Natural Soaps barbershop. Bergamot, basil, oak moss and patchouli. That's it. Wonderful scent. Okay, the blade. Uh, if I can find it. Where did I put it? There it is. Okay, I was, uh, I was sent these blades. Uh, I bought a razor from someone quite a while back, a few months ago, last year something. And he sent me these blades. He said, I know nothing about them, but um, you can have them. And there was maybe five or six of these. So it comes in this wrapper and the paper looks quite um, old. And I'll show you the blade. I've never heard of them. Um, that's probably a better side. It has the same thing on both sides. So there we go. What does it say? Max Herder 08 Elite Lauren. It has the same same thing on that side, look. Max Herder 08. I don't know, he doesn't know what they are. Uh, I don't know what they are. So is there someone out there that knows about this blade? Max Herder 08. Elite Lauren. Yeah, I've never heard of them. Never heard of them. Never heard anyone mention them. But they might be common. I don't know. Some people might say, Oh yeah, the old Max Herders. I've not seen those for years. <laughs> Other people might say, Not the Max Herder blades. I mean, I've heard of Max Headroom. You remember Max Headroom, that sort of... Um, MTV character thing in the 80s. No? Okay. <laughs> Just put a little bit of water on my face again. Get lathered up for the third pass. Get some water in here. Just gonna put a little bit of water on the brush. Taking what's at the bottom of the knot there. Lather still looks good. I don't see. Uh, I haven't seen many videos of people using um, mics, natural soaps. Okay. Third pass against the grain, or the growth, or the stubble, or the beard. or whatever you want to call it. And hardly any sound, which means there is no hair there. But there is sound there. I don't know if that's an ingrown hair there. You see that little?
plenty of feedback here, but if you can hear the razor slicing through the stubble. This is a very comfortable razor to use. The DE89 should be in everyone's den. Three passes done. Incredible slickness. Yeah, a little bit to pick up here. Down here. Yeah, mostly down this side actually. This side doesn't feel quite as bad. Three and a half <laughs> pass shave. Yeah, you can hear that down here. That's it. My, uh, did I say? I can't remember. <laughs> My sister is, uh, is getting married on Friday this week. Um, so, I don't know, I'll probably not be able to upload another video before that. But we shall see, you never know. Okay, let's have a little feel about. Yep, that is uh, very nice, I'm happy with that. Okay, let's see how much is left in this badger knot. Clean, look at that. There's still all that left. Okay, I'm gonna wash my face with this, leave it on while I clean out my uh, razor and brush and Stuff like that, the soap, and I'll see you for the post shave. Oh. Beautiful! Oh. You know what, I look like a teenager. I've got little spots. I think that's an ingrown hair. Hmm, I'll have to keep an eye on it. <laughs> I've got little spots here, but that is a wonderful shave. My skin feels very soft, conditioned, very nice. Okay, post shave, I'm going to start with the Boots the Chemist. Boots the Chemist. <laughs> Tea tree and witch hazel. A little splash of that. Just to cleanse the skin after. The shave. Very nice. Refreshing. The aftershave I'm going to be wearing today. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this, but um, <laughs> I don't know. Something just came into my head. I was just 
yeah, things come into my head and uh, they happen, right? <laughs> and thank you for all the comments on the uh, the Robert Burns shave, uh, the last one. Very, very good. Um, I really appreciate it uh, and I try and answer them all. So back to today's shave, today, um, fine, Santal Absolute. This is a, I just dropped the top in the water there. This is a like a sandalwood scent, but I really like it. I just fancied using it today. And there's a little bit of tingle here. I don't know if it's that ingrown here, but other than that, a little bit down here on the neck. But other than that, what a great scent. And this is a, I find this one, this uh, fine splash, the Santal Absolute, I find this one lasts for me the longest uh, in terms of like scent, you know, a cup, two or three hours later, I can still smell it. Some of the fine, the other ones, you kind of put them on and they just, they're gone within half an hour, an hour. But this one seems to stick around, so it's uh, quite good. Okay, the balm for today is Rock Face Shaving Butter. Preps, shaves and hydrates. I think you're supposed to actually use this to shave um, because it says on the back, if you can see it there, massage butter into the skin. I can't read it because it's back to front. <laughs> um, for ultimate hydration, feel the difference after just one shave, up to 30 shaves in each tube. Oh, you could put it after the shave as well, it says. Post shave hydration. Yeah, it's really, really good stuff. And you only need that much. It doesn't have much of a scent, really at all. A little sweet, uh, sweet smell to it, but other than that, nothing. I can still smell the, uh, the Santal Absolute. That's an excellent shave. I really enjoyed that. Complete BBS. No irritation, no little nicks or weepers. Yeah, anyway, maybe they sometimes they come out when you put the aftershave on, but um, yeah, feels great, really nice. Okay, let's go over again what we've used in today's shave. <laughs> you can't see my hands, but what we've used in today's shave. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> the razor for today was the Edwin Jagger D89. Excellent, excellent razor with the 3D laser diamond handle. Brilliant razor, really enjoyed it. It just works. It's a, uh, yeah, it just works. And inside that, I've taken the blade out just to clean it, was a brand new Zorik Super Platinum. There is there if it's going to focus. Yep, there we go. Zorik Super Platinum. Uh, and there's the wrapper for those. Good blade, good blade in that razor. No tugging or no um, harshness. Very smooth. Yeah, great. The soap for today. <sighs> Mike's Natural Soaps. Barber Shop. Beautiful scent. Absolutely wonderful. Um, yeah, there it is there. I've cleaned it out. Um, easy to lather, great cushion, protection, glide, slickness, everything, it's just wonderful. If you haven't tried one of Mike's soaps, um, get one and try it, because it's fantastic. Um, the brush today, uh, really, this was uh, very, very good. The Yaki Professional, uh, this was High Mountain White Badger. Um, there it is there, and you can see it's, it's almost dry already. Uh, so there it is there. Very good. 
great brush, releases the lather well, doesn't eat tons and tons of soap, beautiful splay on it, um, nice bit of backbone as well, if I'm honest, but very soft on the face, very soft. Yeah, I think these, as I said, these are coming out in March. So, if you're a, if you're a Badger brush fan, try one of these. Uh, post shave, well we had a little face wash, as usual, Kevy shaves, rinsed off with hot and cold. Boots, tea tree and witch hazel. Then the splash was fine Santal Absolute. Yes, not Absolute Santal, Santal Absolute. And we finished it off with the rock face shaving butter. So hopefully there's uh, maybe one or two products in here that you would like to try or you've never seen before or stuff like that. If you're new to wet shaving, uh, that's what these videos are all about. That's why I make them as well as document my shaving journey. I've done it from day one. Um, I really enjoy it. And I like to show you guys different things as I like, I like watching videos if there's something I don't have and someone's using it, I like to see how it performs and yeah, that's the reason that I do these videos as well as uh, the feedback in the comments and stuff like that. It's, uh, it's really, really good. As I say, I've just passed 4,000 subscribers, which is <laughs> just incredible. Um, thank you, thank you so much. And I will be doing a special giveaway, uh, I don't know when, in the next kind of month or so. I'll, uh, I'll do a video and uh, I'll show you what I'm going to be giving away as prizes and stuff like that. So that's all from me for today. As I say, I don't know when the next video will be. Um, possibly the weekend, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh, they're never, my videos are never set in kind of stone as to when they are. You know, Paul H will do like a Wednesday and a Sunday. Um, I just do them when I have time. Kind of thing. So um, that's all good. So uh, have yourselves a wonderful rest of this week and enjoy your weekend. I know I certainly will. Uh, my sister's getting married on Friday, so that will be a, a nice celebration with family. Oh no, lots of Kevy's family together. <laughs> uh, so uh, have yourselves a wonderful rest of this week and I shall see you in the next video. Until then, take care.